I'm bringing you a new series. This is the Challenge Master. And I'm... This uh, series is going to be running alongside the Hunter. There will be alternated uploads. Don't worry, the Hunter is still going to be coming up, but it's going to be coming up at less frequency. And so, I'm going to explain to you what the Challenge Master is. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I give myself random uh, emissions off a wheel I put on my phone, and then for a reward I'm going to spend another wheel to give myself uh, a random reward. If it's a weapon piece or an error piece, I spend the uh, wheel for either one of those, and uh, same goes for ammo. And I'm also going to spin a wheel for a penalty in case I fail the challenge uh, for the episode. It, it could be uh, drop ammo or not use ammo, and, it, and this should be fun. So, with all that being said, I'm going to uh, spin the wheels. I will remain quiet, uh, so that way you can see what I get. And uh, with all that being said, we're going to jump right into it. So I spun the wheel, and my mission is to take down uh, 10 girl zombies. And if I uh, get the mission success, I get a uh, shotgun parts. And if I fail the mission, I have to uh, go no armor for the next episode. So let's uh, get straight to it. I'm going to start on my quest. Get our plant fibers here. So yeah, I think this will be a fun little uh, series, and uh, if you guys like it, I will incorporate these uh, kinds of challenges into further series, you know, and kind of help keep things uh, uh, spicy. You know, give myself a little bit of uh, risk versus reward. Alright, we got our bedroll crafting up. I'll loot this bird's nest here. I apologize for the starting slow, but you know, start a new series and all that. Get some more plant fibers. Keep an eye out for stone. We got a, a deer up ahead. Oh dear. More stone. Let's see. There's some wood I can get. Place you down. Pick up a couple more stones. And there are no weapon restrictions in this run. Because of the randomness I put in. Get my stone axe crafted up here. Another uh, uh, mission done. Since uh, we're here, uh, I was gonna kill the deer, but... Craft up some clothing for the starting quest. Oops, I accidentally crafted the wrong hat for quest. Oh, well, that gives me a little bit of level XP. Where are you? There we go. Alright, start gathering resources here. So yeah, I'm going to complete my starting quest here, and I will... And catch up with you when that's done. All right, and we are done with the starting quests. So let's see where Trader's at uh, after we uh, after it pops up here. All right, we got a Trader quest. Let's see if there's anyone nearby. Um, let's see. Check on the quests here. Show on the map. Oh, we don't have a trader close enough yet. Well, that's no big deal. Let's uh, see if we can kill this deer real quick. Okay. Come here, deer. Yeah, best. Come here, you. Damn it. Be nice to have some meat to cook later on, even if I don't have a cooking pot. It's uh, beneficial. Come here, you. Third man, this 
Forest is really uh, got deer. Come here, you. Tasty. Yeah, come on. Why do you have to move around so much? Probably gonna encounter some zombies here fairly quick. Hopefully we can get ten girls down. With the no armor thing, I'm not gonna consider clothes. There we go. Means we can get a bone shiv here pretty early on. But as I was saying, with the no armor, I'm not considering clothing. I really don't consider that. See that as you may, but... Alright. There's our bone. And we make a bone shiv. Starting off with a level 9 bow and level 9 club and a level 12 bow and a level 15 uh, bone knife. That's pretty nice. Ooh. Came across a, a little path here. And do I really want to go for another deer? Um, yeah, why not? We can never have too much uh, uh, mean in the zombie apocalypse. That, oh, nice shot. Got sneak damage on him. Come here, you. Got to grab some more uh, feathers soon for, for arrows. Floating uh, obelisk there. Must be higher beings in this world. Ooh, looks like a big old barn. Yeah, nice big old barn. We could potentially hold out in here. Where's that deer going? Got another one. Ooh, looks like you might be around. Oh, not fortunate. Yeah, no zombies just yet. Don't think I've left my little protection zone. Oh, come on. Search this trash real quick. Let's see him in a region. Some brass and some iron. Got him. Two deer down. Alright, I'll meet you guys at the uh, barn I pass uh, here in a moment. So I'm on my way back to this barn here and I actually found a first zombie. The sweat. How you doing? Ooh, head explosion. An iron arrowhead and uh, some cloth. Yeah, keep an eye over bird's nests on the way. There's the barn. Okay. How's your guys' day going? Is it going good? I certainly hope so, because my day's going pretty good. Another iron arrowhead. Nice, nice, nice. Search these early on for scavenging XP. Sounds like we got our first female. Ooh, Marla, good to see you. Come here. And that is uh, uh, one out of the ten we are uh, needing for the mission here. Hope we can find some more. Got a couple Charlies. How we doing, boys? Come here, Charlie. You definitely want to give me a handshake. Oh, sweat. Hi, Nancy. Put an arrow to you. Yeah, I'm best. Oh, I hit a Charlie in the back. That is two out of the girls we need. Vitamins, that's really good. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Come here, Charlie.
Take your beating. Come on. There you go, buddy. Yeah, we got the sweat coming over. Oh, hello, Psycho Steve. Let my stamina read in here. Take some vitamins for the wellness. Come here, sweat. There you go, you gone down. Thank you, Psycho Steve, you got nothing. Alright. This looks like there's hay bales in here. Not too bad. And not much in here for aside from a couple oil barrels. Now let's check anything up here. Um cooking pot. Or gas barrels, decomposing backpack, what you got? A hunting rifle stock and some black cowboy boots. Let's scrap that down for just scrap this down for now. I know this stuff can be useful later on, but I want to focus on survival. Ooh! 18762 rounds and some steel arrows. That's really nice. Anything in the bookshelf? No, not a We can use that chair for firewood. I miss bird's nest down there. I think I saw a graveyard to the north, so I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so I come up on the uh, graveyard here and had to grab myself a new stone axe. I did find myself another first aid bandage, which is really nice, and I got a level up. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pump into the survivor, get some extra wellness out of the food I cook later on. Ooh, number three. Another Marlo. See you later, Marlo. Got Psycho Steve and Charlie here. How we doing, guys? So yeah, we're at three out of ten for the fired zombie kills. <laughs> Might be a four out of ten here. Making some real progress. I can see down. And he's down. And come here, Charlie. Nope. Let's see if I can hit him. No, unfortunately not. Nope, we got uh, Mikey here. I know there's some confusion regarding like this zombie sometimes on this version of Seven Days Dio, whether or not this is a boy or a girl, but. You know, call him Mikey. Considered to be a boy. Oh, hey, Amy! Should be up 5 out of 10 now. There we go, we're at halfway through the challenge. There we go, Mikey's down. I think I'm gonna craft some frames here real quick, too. Then. Gonna make another self uh, wooden club for myself. Um, crap, let's scrap that down. We got 20. Yeah, Charlie, I'm coming in. Don't worry. Don't worry, buddy. Have you taken care of. Alright. Come here, Charlie boy. There you go. Ooh, another boot schematic. That was really good. Not much on these uh, uh, folks. Can of sham and some water. That's good. Looks like we got another deer. Come here. <laughs> Keep him in the graveyard. Uh, that way, don't run away. You can't run away from me now. Come here. Um, actually, I just realized I got some steel arrows. Come here. 
club. There we go. More leather. Man, we got another uh, deer or pig or even a rabbit. I think we might have a forge day one, which would be really nice. Play weapons uh, up to level two now. All right. Now that's destroyed. I saw a bird's nest around here. There we are. More feathers. Might even check the cars out front. Not much of a parking lot, but hey. How much is this uh, stuff? 1200 See if the, uh, this one's locked up. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to beat through that until the overnight. And since I decided to want to start out in a barn uh, in the Hunter series, I think uh, we're going to take residence on top of uh, one of these uh, uh, buildings here for the uh, time being. And, and then, you know, tomorrow we'll do some exploration. Get some get wood frame up here. No, not that. Come here. Oh, that'll do. Make, uh, grab some, grab a campfire and for some stone. And all right. I'd say we're having a pretty good start so far. I already got a cooking pot and we already unlocked a uh, leather armor schematic for the boots. Things might be looking up and up. As I say that, I'll probably have a dog horde uh, come in and uh, wreck me. Which, uh, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Just take down that one stage of the stone for now. I think the graveyard will be a decent place to set up shop. For now. It's got secure walls. Uh, I can just take this tree down for... Uh, take it down for... And then seal off the wall. You know, we could and do pretty decent. It would take a very long time for these zombies to uh, beat down. The iron fence and all that. Maybe a bottom block a crawler might be able to get through, but hey, it's it's something to do. Alright, crafted campfire. Okay. So put in cooking pot and just gonna put in uh, put on a bacon eggs and it's gonna make some I think I'll hold off on that for now. Then I'm gonna do some hunting, and if I kill any more animals, I'll let you know, and I'll be back in a bit. So I got Charlie coming up on me here, and uh, I have spotted another deer. Let's see. come here, I'm Charlie. There you go, buddy. Take your pill. More feathers. Let's see if you got anything? Yeah, not much. Craft me up some more arrows real quick before I try to take this guy on. Swap my arrow type back over to stone. Sneak damage shot on him. I've been noticing like there's some nice, uh, there's kind of a nice valley and looks like there might be a desert over in the distance and got some road so at least some uh, POIs to be looking at. You're really stuck on center blocks. Oh well, more hide for me. Got another Charlie pulling up. Yeah, as far as I remember, I think we still got five more to kind of take down. Uh, maybe I can take you for your hide and meat. The more the merrier. So yeah, I think uh, we got ourselves a forge. 
And I just realized on my compass, I think I see the uh, trader icon. Better have done hers and this guy up real quick. We'll be uh, checking to see where he's at. So in case you guys want to follow along with the uh, series, uh, the graveyard is over here. Hang on. Oh, hi, Curly. Go said something. Come here, Curly. Why am I still using a hunting knife? I believe I or bone shave. Come here. Take your clip. Head head explosion. Um, any girls around here? Hope we got a sweat. Come here, buddy. There you go. Take your pill. See if we can find a couple more zombies. So, oh, got a rabbit. All right. Come here. Now the challenges I do have on the wheel, they are early game challenges. I will be uh, kind of doing uh, more late stage challenges as uh, time goes on. And uh, this will be a permadeath series because I haven't died yet. And I hopefully will not die. Like I did in Hunter a couple times. You know, just keep exploring for a second and see if we can find a couple more <laughs> girls. I don't think so, but you just never know. Ooh, couple eggs. Make more bacon eggs. While I'm doing that, I'm just gonna craft this up into leather and get a little bit of leather working XP. Hmm, piggy. Leave you alone for now. Our iron arrowhead, pretty good. Ooh, we got a house. I think I'll stay with the uh, cemetery. I don't know if I'll loot this uh, place. Looks a little bit broken down. Not a big deal. Got old Bob here. How we doing, Bob? Give you the uh, the bow. Come here, Bob. There we go. Yeah, these zombies seem a little bit weak. I don't know what difficulty I have this on. I think I might bump it up a little bit you know, for the next episode. You know, just give myself a bit more of a challenge. I don't want this to be a cakewalk or anything. Anything in the mailbox? No. No sense over here. Might as well check it. Sink. Oven got nothing. Some water would definitely need that early on because I have not found a water source just yet. It'll definitely be uh, helpful to find a water source, but not gonna make boiled meat because that's a commodity, a precious commodity. The water. Ooh, some dukes. Oh, I completely forgot to check for the trader. right there. I hear some... some... <laughs> hey, hey! Alright. That is a... Uh, 6 out of 10. Let's see. So I found the trader. You are at... about 645 south and... 2154 uh, West. And that means is uh, Hub City is to the. We are at uh, 1621 North and 1026 uh, uh, West. 
so <laughs> go over to the west a bit and oh wow we're actually fairly close to hub city i'm hoping we can find a uh, city outside to kind of set up shop in because that'd be really nice i'm here in some company seems like we're about two and a half kilometers out from the uh the trader though we might actually make it before the hunter and it does Maybe, maybe in the world? You never know. Uh, toilet. Yeah, I'm afraid I might be failing the challenge here today, but that's okay. It's still early game. Not that big of a deal. I think I might actually just take my plant fiber armor off for next episode and if we fail this. Are there any more ladies around? Uh, I don't know if the pig would count as a lady. Uh, they ain't exactly zombified. I'm gonna go back over to the cemetery and I'm going to catch up with you there. On my way back to the graveyard, I actually found another house. Looks like uh, the one with the Gun safe in the basement. That'll be a good old thing to raid in the morning. Oh, Marla, good to see you. That makes seven zombies. Uh, well, girl zombies out of ten. All right, painkillers, awesome. Nancy, good to see you. We got Penny. So that makes us eight out of ten. Oh, hi, Penny. Oh, two pennies. Looks like we are actually going to be meeting the first challenge, just barely. Alright, come here, you can pretend you two computer pennies. Don't know what to do with these two. So wily. That is our challenge complete. Ooh, Penny's standing on her own. One of them, at least. Quite the song, strong, strong old lady. Come here, Charlie. Charlie's down. Okay, I got him in the crotch. Ow, Mikey. Okay, you just stay down. Stay there. There we go. Mikey's uh, down. Scavenging's level 3. Oh, you got some shorts. I'll take that and repair them. Thank you, Charlie. I just gotta scrap that down for plant fiber. Pennies didn't have anything on them. I'm gonna save that for the morning time. But... I'll kind of see you guys in a minute when I'm back at the cemetery. Alright, so I'm just getting back to cemetery, our temporary little uh, place to take up shelter. And it is nighttime now. I did a little bit of resource gathering just before nighttime. So I'm going to just put a storage chest uh, down real quick. Oh, we're hunted. Let me just take this uh, wood frame, that way they can't get up, and take you with. Don't want to do this uh, too quickly, but... Alright. So we could have had a forge on the first day, had I remembered to grab some short iron pipes uh, from some toilets, but hey, that's no big deal. Um, we still got the leather required to make it, and so let me just put the stash of stuff in. Keep the stone for a second. Yeah, it's a successful day. Let me put some bacon eggs up on the you know, campfire. Got five more of them, and can eat a couple. Put the queue up. Eat you up. Let's 
gonna <laughs> cook <laughs> that can of sham. Give myself a little bit of water. Should definitely focus on getting some tomorrow. But yeah, <laughs> my challenge was to uh, kill 10 zombies, uh, kill 10 girl zombies actually. So that was a mission success and my uh, so my mission reward is uh, shotgun parts. And if you're wondering how I'm going to do that, so what I'm actually going to do is I've been able to create a menu for this playthrough and uh, I'm not going to be abusing it, but just so you know, I'm just going to search up shotgun and I'm going to grab myself some shotgun parts and I will keep this down to a bare minimum on quality early on that way it's not too overpowered and just so you know with weapon parts I am not including weapon schematics for you know like shotguns and all that it's the only schematic that can be a potential reward and I will eliminate it from the reward list once I get it is uh, the herbal antibiotic schematic because uh, that is something you can only get in Navs again and I'm playing on her uh, random world gen. So there's my reward, mission success. Just put that there. I say that's been a pretty successful episode. I'm gonna let, uh, who's that? Benny and, or Nancy uh, be on the tree for a little bit on the overnight and I will catch up with you guys in the uh, next episode and we will see what the next mission is. Have a great day, everybody.